All right, guys, what I want to do today in this video is go over Cloud Jumper. This is the yellow Cloud Jumper dragon that is available for you to get and breed while well, through breeding or the event, which is, well, hopefully it's still coming soon. I don't know. I mean, I thought it was a secret Easter egg thing. We'll see what happens later. But here it is the Storm Cutter, the Cloud Jumper dragon. All foes take 115 damage. All foes loses. 25% accuracy as well as 35. Well, this dragon gains 35% bonus health. Oni Cloud Jumper. Now you notice there's some lightning strikes that's going through his body, so that's pretty cool. That's one of the things I want to talk about. Anyways, this wasn't a vicious beast, but an intelligent, gentle creature whose soul reflected my own. That's what uh, Hiccup's mother said. It says, after two decades together, Vodka and Cloud Jumper share a relationship unrivaled by other Academy Dragons and their trainers. Their bonds run, run so deep that the two can communicate without words. Can you believe that? That's like telepathy, right? Anyways, and I mean, with an unspoken understanding that goes far beyond Dragon and Trainer, Cloud Jumper and Vodka our family, their relationships had an inaspicuous, I'm not sure if I'm saying that correctly, start. Cloud Jumper kidnapped Vadka from Burke during the Dragon Wars. Oh my god, this is pretty cool. Alright, so I'm adding like commentary into it. But, anyways, you know the Dragon Wars? I really want to see like the pre-sequel to how to train your dragon with like her mother and stoic and stuff like that because they're not making a how to train your dragon 4 right that's done that's gone right but that, it doesn't mean they're make you know they're not going to make a pre-sequel right so that's i don't know i mean that sounds cool the dragon war all right anyways after a determining she she meant no harm Due to this conflicted beginning, Vadka knew she could convince neither Burke nor Stoic that dragons were peaceful creatures. Instead, she chose to rescue dragons with her newfound friend, the massive storm cutter that had taken her from home. Alright, so that's the first section. Uh, second section, years later, which this is how to train your dragon too. Years later, after Hiccup had made peace with the dragons and taught Burke, the ways of dragon riding. Cloud Jumper and Vadka would return to Burke. They took on predominant roles in the now dragon allied community. Vadka, a foundation of wisdom to learning trainers. Cloud Jumper, a judicious role model for the young dragons. Alright, so, anyways, that's Cloud Jumper, and, you know. I don't know. I mean, let's train it. I, I got. I get. You know, I gotta give my two cents for a cloud jumper. That was pretty cool. We got cloud jumper evolving there, but you know, I gotta say that I'm not too fond of the spirit speed. It's set at slow. I'm trying to remove all my slow spirit speed dragons. To be honest, I mean, when I see slow, I'm like, oh my god, you know, because it's gonna be so slow, right? And one of the things that, personally speaking, from my personal perspective is I'm not too fond of the this dragon gains 35% bonus health. Obviously, that will benefit Cloud Jumper, right? But it won't benefit all your other dragons on the team. But anyways, here's Cloud Jumper. Cool dragon, right? And you can get him. In the event, or you could breed for it. Unfortunately, I don't have the button to breed, but hey, we just finished this. All right, one number one. <laughs> All right, so anyways, we got Cloud Jumper, and we're number one. We're number one. I am not going to throw him into battle. I mean, I could level him up, I guess, but actually, I don't. Nothing. You shouldn't feed this dragon any other color except for yellow. Because then, you, you know, look at how he walks. Then he won't get his ability up. But anyways, that's all for now. That is Cloud Jumper. The five-star Cloud Jumper in the game.